You know, they do change their mind on them, but the CDC said it straight up. The more people that get vaccinated, the less chance this virus has to mutate, like what happened with the Delta variant that you're seeing going wild right now. But is there a new one we need to be worried about here in Florida? Nightside's Josh Shadorowitz verifies posts online about a Colombian variant. Here's some of those posts about this supposed new COVID-19 variant from Colombia now spreading here in Florida. So let's verify. Our sources on this include the CDC and the World Health Organization, along with two virologists and a pathologist at the Miami Hospital where these supposed cases are at. Okay, let's start with, yeah, there is a variant from Colombia known as B1621. Hasn't even been given one of those Greek letters yet. We don't know a lot about the Colombia variant. We do know that it dominated the pandemics in some South American countries. The earliest cases were documented in January, according to the WHO. Here in the U.S. right now, the CDC says this variant accounts for just about 2% of all cases. So far, though, our sources say vaccines don't appear to be any less effective against it, but it's not entirely clear yet if it's more severe or more contagious, like Delta. The Colombian variant is very spotty across the U.S., uh, we've only had a handful of cases here in Baltimore. Uh, there have been some cases in New York City. It's never established itself as a dominant virus in any geographic area. As for here in Florida, we found it. Dr. David Andrews, chief pathologist at Jackson Health System in Miami, confirms at their hospital, the Colombian variant accounts for about 10% of recent COVID positive patients. But we don't know yet how much of a of a presence this is uh, and we're going to so we're going to be doing sequencing weekly now for the next several weeks and I think it's going to become uh, apparent whether or not this is going to uh, be a trend or if it's just an isolated observation. So yes, we can verify the Colombian variant has reached Florida. I just want to give you some context here. Back in May, the CDC said that 1% of all new cases were the Delta variant that they accounted for in the U.S. Now it's about 80%, so you could see in just a few months how things could change. But for now, doctors and researchers have told Josh that the Delta variant is still by far their biggest concern. If you're trying to find the nearest place to get tested, we have links to that on our story on the free 10 Tampa Bay app. There you can also get more information on COVID cases here locally and across the nation, along with where to get a vaccine.